Good morning, Quirky Birders. It's Wednesday and therefore it's day three of your daily art challenge. And today's the day where this video is going to be a little bit longer um, as we're going to be putting in a few more details um, to your lovely um, illustration of Santorini. So to begin with, I'm going to come back to our lovely roofs and we're going to come back with that lovely Mediterranean blue, that very, very rich um, vibrant blue and we're just going to put some second coats onto our um, roofs there. So we'll come right the way over the top of the first dome. And then again, just make sure you get that really nice even finish. Can lift away any excess paint if it's pooling a little bit heavily we'll put some of the darker color on the roofs of these little buildings in the distance And we'll do exactly the same with these ones at the top here. Now we can introduce some of the darker tones to the sea and all I'm going to do for that is literally just use the tip of my brush and just bring some lines just across in the sea. The next thing that we're going to do is work again on our sandstone walls just to make those a little bit more um, darker again. So just using the ochre again, this is now the third coat on these walls. And just use that third coat just to really intensify the colour of those sandstone walls. And 
I'll do the same on this one. front bit and then again the one down the side of the path Pop a bit of detail on the front of this one. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the colour purple and we're going to use the colour purple to work on the pathway and the actual steps. So using that lovely purple but making it a little bit darker this time So I've just added a little bit more um, purple to my pale wash just to make it a little bit stronger. And then I've added a little bit more blue. And using this purple, we're going to work just along this side of this wall here. So just using the tip of your brush, you're just going to create that little bit of shading along that edge of the wall. Like so. And then we'll bring some steps down in the path. So we've just got those step details and we will be working on those again with some more colour in just a moment. Now we can also work on our little garden here. So you're going to want to use a little bit of leaf green. So you want a nice rich green, nice and dark. And what we're going to do is we're just going to just create just a series of little leaves along the edge of that garden there. So just use the tip of your brush. Pop 
some in the background. Now we can also add some greenery to the um, the terraces that we've got. So I'm going to pop some just along the top here. And we'll bring some down this side. And we'll just bring that all the way down this little wall here. And we'll pop some along this top here as well. And then we'll just dot some greens, just cascading over the wall. Now the next colour that we're going to use, we're going to come back to that colour black. I just want to intensify the shadows that are in these doorways. We'll do the same with this one up here. Same with the window. And then just the little arch windows too. Oops. Now we can use a little bit of grey next and we're going to use the grey um, to pop in some details into the cliffs. 
So I just want a really nice pale grey. And you can do this by mixing your black and your white together. Or alternatively, you can use your Payne's grey or your Battleship grey. But you just want something really nice and light. And what we'll do is we'll start to just add in a little bit of colour to those cliffs. I'm going to do it in a similar manner that I did the, um, the sky. So you're going to have the white of the paper on show two. And just take the grey down to that shoreline where you've got that little bit of yellow. And we'll do the same with the pale grey on this one too. Come over the tops of the roofs. So we've just got the grey in there now. So the next thing that we can do is we can actually introduce some flowers that are cascading over the side of the, of the building. So I'm going to use a nice crimson red. And just around where we've got the green, I'm just going to just dot a couple of little bits of red. Just keep it nice and light. We'll bring some of that down over the side of the buildings, following these little green dots of colour. some down the sides here, down by the windows. Okay, so that's it for episode three. Um, I do hope you're enjoying the process and I do hope you're beginning to see how the picture is, is developing nicely. Enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy carrying on with your painting and I will see you all again tomorrow for episode four. Goodbye. Goodbye.